What up all my tooth doctors and doctresses? Welcome to another episode at the Tooth Factory. Today we're going to discuss about the frequently asked questions about dentistry in Canada. This includes everything from a difference between a DDS and a DMD, a licensed dentist versus a degree dentist. What about a saturation in Canadian market in dentistry? A lot of speculations there. We're going to talk about the salaries, the duties, the responsibilities of a dentist in Canada. We're also going to talk about various options in replacement of dentistry or after dentistry in Canada. So without much ado, let's get on with the video. Let's cut the chase to the first question in the list. What is the difference between a DDS and a DMD? A DDS is a doctor of dental surgery. A DMD is doctor of medicine in dentistry. They are practically the same thing, same education, same title. It's just determined by the university you graduate from. But for us as internationally trained dentists, taking the exam route will give us a general practicing license. Therefore, we will not be called as DDS or DMD. Unless after AFK, we were to enroll ourselves into one of the university programs, graduate them, and then achieve a degree in dentistry in Canada. That is when we are called a DDS or a DMD. Question number two. Becoming a dentist in Canada from scratch and its links to internationally trained dentists. Well, every domestic student has to pass grade 12, get into a four-year degree program in BSc, Bachelor of Science, and then get a very high GPA, very competitive of 3.5 and above out of four, then appear for a DAT entrance exam, and then a series of interviews, and then proving your competition by incredible voluntary activities after which you will get into a dental school of four years worth of program and then we will be at the same stage as domestic students at the written exam and OSCE exam. You pass that and then you legally have to take a provincial law and ethics judiciary exam. This will allow you to practice in that particular province as a dentist. This is a renewable exam yearly. The third question of the day is regarding saturation of dental market in Canada. The answer to that is yes. Dentistry is becoming over concentrated in most of the urban cities such as Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver. It is extremely difficult to find a place to start up a new practice in those areas. But Canada still has smaller developing towns, smaller cities, municipal cities that invite open arms to new dentists to serve their communities better. Therefore, there are ample opportunities to become a dentist in Canada, just not in the urban areas. Talking about competition or saturation of dental market in Canada, brings us to our fourth question, how do you practice in Canada? Well, there are four answers. Number one is startup. So startup in Canada includes $600,000 worth of investment for a new clinic, new instrument, new patients, and new employees. Number two is corporate head. A company in your region buys a series of clinics and hires you to operate them. Therefore, you work for them and they pay you a salary. Number three is shared practice. A group of new graduates in dental school will come up and invest in a group practice. So they share the cost and share the profit. Or the fourth option is the most popular one is buying an established practice. A retiring dentist is selling their clinic and you are buying them. So you get a pre-made patient data, geographic data, and equipments, instruments, and a property. In our next segment, question number five, let's talk about the general information about dentists in Canada with their salaries, work conditions, and work duties. A general practicing dentist in Canada can earn anywhere from $61 an hour to $113 an hour at an average of $85.64 per hour. Annually, this amount equivalents to $154,264. Work conditions can be divided into three aspects, hours of operation, legal requirements, and workload. Hours of operation can range anywhere from 8 to 10 hours on a weekday, extra hours on the evenings and weekends depending on the emergency or regular care, 
you may provide at your service. Number two, legal requirements for sterilization and safety measures and infection and prevention control measures are regularly monitored and inspected by Health Canada. Therefore, maintaining a hazard-free environment is legally required. Number three, workload. Now, dentists don't have heavy lifting or laborious work, but over time, back aches, neck aches, and other joint pains such as our hands and even knees is reported over time. This is known as musculoskeletal disorders as well. These three things to keep in mind for work conditions. Let's conclude question number five with the duties of a dentist in Canada. It is to promote oral health care in advising the patients, restoring function and appearance of damaged teeth, remove the teeth when necessary, therefore extractions, to replace the teeth with fixed or removable devices such as bridges, partial dentures or full dentures. It is to treat diseases of the mouth, including the gum. It is to move the teeth that are out of position, therefore some orthodontic appliances as well to diagnose and treat diseases of the entire oral cavity, including the gums and the teeth. Perform surgical operations on the mouth or jaw or other organs such as tongues and adjacent tissues. And the last but not the least, to diagnose and manage disorders of the temporomandibular joint and facial areas, including nerve damage. These are some of the general advisories of a dentist in Canada. In our segment number six, let's talk about dental insurance in Canada. Canadian Health Measures Survey states that 62% of all Canadians have a private dental insurance. So let's talk about how it works, what it covers, and what it doesn't. Now, how does dental insurance work in Canada? So your employer is usually tied with a dental insurance company who provides you with a certain amount of plan. That plan may cover a certain amount of percentage of your dental costs per year, up to a maximum amount, let's say $3,000, and it covers up to 80% of that, which means you can get your dental care up to 80% free just by deducting some money from your salary slips every time you get paid dedicated to the insurance company. That's great when you have an emergency dental care and capital amount to spend. Your insurance will take care of that for you. Now, about what dental insurance covers and what it doesn't. Well, it covers everything from cleaning, filling, scaling, examinations, and certain extractions like wisdom teeth removal. Now, that's basic plans. Some may even cover surgical procedures other than that. But majority of the cases do not cover cosmetic costs, such as veneers or certain implant procedures, but it all depends on the plan that you have. Our seventh segment is about how to get into MDS, which is a very frequently asked questions from internationally trained dentists. Well, first things first, in order, to get into MDS in Canada, a DDS degree is required, which means a graduate program completed from a university accredited in Canada with a B plus score is required. Therefore, licensing exams will not do when we want to achieve admissions into an MDS program. After we complete the MDS, we are eligible for PhD programs, which will let us drive into the professional teaching programs at universities. You can also choose to practice if you wish to. Point number eight for today is on if not DDS, then what? Well, you can choose not to go through dentistry for whichever reason, whether it may be long or expensive or any personal reasons. You do have other options and there are amazing options that Canada has to offer. Number one, dental hygiene. And number two, denturism. Let's talk a little bit about dental hygiene. In replacement of being a dentist, you can be hired by a dentist as a dental hygienist and you will mainly be doing periodontic procedures or cleaning procedures or helping out in filling procedures, taking x-rays, but no surgery, no diagnostics the only two drawbacks, but it's an 18 month diploma in healthcare in dentistry. 
It allows you to take home at an average $35 to $40 an average, which is approximately around $80,000 to $90,000 every year. It is a great option to consider because you're still be working in dental clinics. Option number two is denturism. It is a profession in which you make the dentures as recorded and ordered by the dentist or elderly can come to you and personally get a denture made without any dentist consultation as well. It is a profession that requires a diploma of two and a half years at the very least. It is self-employed and at an average, a denturist can earn up to $100,000, which is around $50 to $60 per hour. So consider that, if not DDS. Canada has a lot of opportunities. Another most frequently asked question is our segment number nine. Should we choose a licensing exam or a degree? Well, I strongly recommend that internationally trained dentists opt for a dental degree at an accredited dental university in Canada. I suggest to come here to take the AFK exam, pass it with an incredible mark so that you can get admissions into a dental university. With this, we will be taught perfect standardization first hand treatment plans, Canadian methods and norms regarding sterilization infection prevention, which is extremely important when we practice. Everything will be taught firsthand rather than we receiving a license and just starting a practice blinded. Learning is always better than getting firsthand. And the last question for today is something I get asked a lot. Number 10. Should we choose Canada or not? My answer to that is yes, bold capitals and underlined, yes, you should. Yes, the struggle is incredible when you come in. Yes, you have to face a downfall in the initial years, but when you rise, as proving yourself from the licensing or the degree programs, as a professional dentist, your skills are highly valued. Canada has a lot of opportunities to offer to you with a high rise in lifestyle, changes in your lifestyle, and also, if not dentistry, your experience can be used in dental hygiene and denturism and courses like that. You can make the worth of your life in a professional field like dentistry to the top. Please come to Canada. Hey everyone, thank you very much for watching our video today at the Tools Factory. Hope you learned something new and we will come up with new content as soon as we can. The references from the video today, all 10 questions are listed below in the text. Please feel free to read them and grab more information from them when you can. Have a good day.